quick video on how to install the uh, uh, first gen package tray onto the car. This is the way I do it. Obviously this goes to the front of the car, the bead row. It's got the shape of the car so you can't go wrong there. You have to remove the backrest of your back seat to tuck this in there. Stock one comes up to there. I, I, I made mine a little bit bigger. So it uh, goes under the structure of the car. So it's a nice, nice tight fit there all around. So center it up, put it where you want, where it fits perfect onto your car. And then what you're gonna do after that, you're gonna come and mark these holes like so, right in the dead center there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four inside. So once you mark these holes and you have the package tray right where you want it, remove this guy. And these are the welding pieces that you're gonna weld onto your structure of your uh, package tray section of your car. Again, since you marked the holes, line them up with those. I didn't mark them, but you get the idea. You could even uh, make it nice and perfect there with the hose. And I made, I left these straight with no curves to make it easier on the cutting it, make it quicker. So you could just have a cut off wheel and a grinder and you're good to go. Here, this is a bit of curvature, which you can probably shape very easily. Uh, this kind of hugs part of the structure of the car. That's why it's round. So if there's a driver's side and a passenger side, they're opposing each other. You see that curve there and that curve on the opposite side. So anyhow, cut these off, drop them in there, bring them flush to the other one and tack away. I suggest that before you do that, I would probably do this. I would probably bolt these, screw them on to the bottom of this on both ends and bring the whole package tray as a unit and drop it in there together. Um, I only have one hand, but uh, sort of like that as a one unit because of these holes, if they don't line up perfect, if these holes don't line up perfect to the package tray aluminum piece, of, it's not gonna work. So you have these four holes and these four over here that need to be just go really well together. So that's the way I would do it. But uh, I mean, you should be fine if you mark them correctly and you're very cautious about it, but that's more of an overkill just to make sure you get it right. So once those guys are in there, you come with your package tray. Which is off obviously because I had not measure this correctly. You come with that, drop your speaker in, bolt it down, whatnot. Then you do these guys. These guys, I didn't make any holes for them. So you have to make your holes for that. So it, I give you a little flexibility to move it this way or that way or whatnot. But pretty much, I bring the bezel on the front of these guys to this very line here, and it works out really good. Around there. So once you have that set up where you want it, where it looks good, if you don't have a roll bar or whatever, uh, you can come and mark, I don't know if you can see them, yeah, you can. These holes there and that hole there, mark them, drill them out, come back, put it on there, and screw these two guys down nice and tight where, it's, where they belong. I'm gonna give you some well nuts, these guys. Put them underneath there, screw them down. Once you have those two screws, that will keep everything nice and sturdy. Now you can come and kind of push down on this a little bit, because you can see it's got a little flexibility to it and uh, get a self-tapping screw there, a one inch self-tapping screw. So you can kind of mark it and do a pilot hole where that belongs. Again, do a well nut through the bottom, your 10, uh, 24 screw that I'm giving you. Screw that one down, do the last one. And reason why you want this to be squared away. And these have a little bit of flexibility there, as you can see, they're gonna spread out a little bit. So, uh, 
if you just go measure it and you poke a hole, it's not gonna line up perfect. And then your hole, your screws are gonna be off to the side and they're gonna look funky. You want them dead in the center once this thing is flattened down. So that's the best way to go about it. Um, same thing with the, with the uh, driver's side. Like I said, you have a plenty of flexibility on uh, going this way and that way or not. Back, you don't have a lot of space because the car comes up to like there. So uh, let me show you mine if you can. Yeah, actually, you don't. See, I got you right on the right on the edge there. So that's the way that works. I'm gonna do another quick video for the cell panels, but pretty much they use the same screws, different lengths, and the same uh, welded nuts. So once you have all that stuff set up and everything's nice and tight, you can come back to the bottom and, and tack your weld nuts and then you can take it back off and you're good to go. And if you need a little, once everything's welded and whatnot, if you want a little flexibility or adjustability, I should say, you can drill these out a little bit, maybe quarter inch. So you can have some wiggle room to, for mistakes or whatever. And, uh, that works out pretty good. Even the screws, these screws here, that you're gonna pilot hole with the with the other one, uh, I would drill them out at the end because everything's already set. So those screws, by drilling them out a little larger, I will give you a little bit more wiggle room, a little more play room to uh, maneuver a little bit. Anyways, that's probably about the best uh, way to do it. I'm sure there's a thousand other ways to do it, but that's the way I like it. Okay, quick video on the uh, install for the uh, package tray and uh, cell panel combo. Moving on to the cell panels. I have four screws on there, 1024 screws. We're gonna use these well nets. Those four screws should line up to four holes onto your original car. Now I have four of these guys, four cars that I tried these on. Uh, one out of the four, they had different, uh, uh, one was slotted and the other three were perfectly circles but they all should probably much line up. But this is the way I would do it, just to be a little precautious of uh, doing it wrong. So the hose that the car has, they're, they're pretty big, probably about a quarter inch. And you can see these well nuts, they have like a little divot there. So what I do to get those bolts right on the center, so the heads are nicely centered, I go to these guys, I'm gonna use this as an example. This hole is a little bit bigger than that. So I use that back side. Uh, let me see if I can focus, there we go. And you see how it kind of moves back and forth. I move it all the way forward and I tack it. And I go to the second one, which is that guy, and do the same thing. Move it all the way forward and tack it. And then once I have those two, I'll go ahead and try this on, see if those two line up. And then by putting tape on the other two holes in the bottom, I can poke it with a with uh, something and make sure that those holes line up too before I get committed and I weld the weld nuts on there. But that works out pretty easy. Uh, I'm gonna give you about a one inch and a, inch and a quarter, uh, 10, 24 screws for these guys. So these are flat and obviously the cell panels, they have sort of a sweep. So what you're gonna do, do one hole. Once you have these two up there, the, the two weld nuts, and obviously you're gonna put a little bit of pressure and kind of give it a little bit of a, of a sweep and shape it a little bit. Once you, you do that, you'll get an idea of where things are going. This goes on the front very nice. This line uh, also fits perfect on the back, the way stock one does. And uh, really there's not a lot of wiggle room for these at all. So you gotta be very cautious when you put the two bottom ones, the well nuts, that if the car, being that these cars are never perfectly exactly the same, I know one of mine was a quarter inch off, so I had to pilot drill a quarter inch further to line it up to this hole, even though the other three fit perfect. So if that's the case, that's the reason why you only do the two top ones and then you uh, experiment with the two bottom ones. But they should line up, but in case they don't. Uh, and then once you have everything lined up, you can come back with these, weld the two on the, on the bottom. Then you can really give it some shape, torque them down nice and tight, 
and uh, you should be fine. I, I would probably use some uh, Dynomat on the rear to uh, prevent the noise. But once they, they're nice and tight, they're, they're, they will not rattle. I guarantee you that because they they fit really good. I'm running mine without uh, any Dynomat or anything, and I don't I don't I don't hear a thing. And all my car is like bare metal, not an ounce of padding on it. So anyhow, that's the way that fits. That's the best fit. Uh, obviously, you have a driver side and the passenger side. They're different, uh, but I think that'll that'll cover it. You'll get all the hardware to go with these guys, also with these. So um, I think that'll that does it. Any questions? Feel free to call anytime.